What is up guys, welcome back to Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for my first review of Season 4 of The Plague. So, the season has started, man, the season has started, oh my god, what an awesome premiere, I really love this episode a lot. So, let's get into the review, uh, of course, spoiler warning, if you have not seen the episode yet, I was watching this episode, of course, this episode aired, you could kind of say live, but premiered on YouTube, um... Of course, episode one, uh, of course, which is called Hypocrite, which I'm, I love that title. That's so cool. And uh, basically, this is going to be my review for the first episode. Just finished watching it. I'm not really sure what the heck that ending was, though, but um, oh my god, it feels so good to be reviewing the new season of The Plague. It's just, oh my god, that's awesome. So, uh, I did my Walking Dead Funko Pop collection earlier today. I, I'm just kind of previewing all the other videos I've been doing. I, I always do that at the beginning of the videos, but... Let's talk about this new episode of The Plague. So, uh, we were watching this, uh, you know, live. I, I literally just got finished watching it, and uh, I was watching it with a few other people as well, and I was like, oh my god, I was interacting with tons of people as well on uh, the video, and I, was, and then the ending, <laughs> the ending came, and I'm just like, what? Like, that's how it ended? And by the way, that did not feel like 20 minutes. Like, that did not feel like 20 minutes at all. Um... Definitely not. That did not feel like 20 minutes. I felt like 10 minutes, to be honest. When I saw John shoot, and then it goes to the credits where it says Undead Freak 78, Anthony, and John, and then, uh, and the credits start rolling, I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. But, I mean, this season is so much more like, 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 I, I don't even, I don't even know what to say. It's just, it's even better than season three. And season three was so good. Like, just the way it's done, you got an intro, you got the previously on, you got the credits at the end. It, it's done so well. And the episode was amazing. So, let's just get right into all the stuff that happens. So, spoiler warning, if you haven't seen it, that's the last spoiler warning. So, we start off, of course, um with the scene with him and John talking, which I do like that scene quite a bit, uh, the whole Derek mention. Uh, now, of course, then we also get to see, uh, uh, you know, John and, uh, you know, him kind of plotting against Anthony. We get to see the intro, of course, and we come back from the intro, awesome intro, by the way, and we get to see him and uh, Scott talking. So Samantha's going to take over uh, the, uh, you know, the fields or whatever. So basically, we get to see uh, Anthony talk to Samantha, and, uh, you know, she's kind of having a conversation with him about, uh, you know, uh, John and all the stuff about the meeting coming up that night and stuff. So they have the meeting, of course, later on in the episode, but there's a few other dialogue scenes here before we get to the meeting. Now, um, I really, man, I really had like a... Like, like, such a bad feeling that, you know, like, Anthony would, like, kill John, or I don't know, something like that. I don't know, I, I kinda, I don't know why, I felt like that was gonna happen. Um, and I'm not really even sure why, because we saw scenes with him on the bridge, or, like, on, like, a highway, like, later on. Um, pointing a gun up to John. So, it's like, I kinda knew, but it's like, at the same time, I was like, oh my god, like just on the edge of my seat, but anyway, I really like uh, the, the scenes where you have John that's basically walking around asking everybody, um, he goes to, you know, Scott first, and Scott's like, no, no, screw you, you know, uh, and then, of course, he goes to, uh, to Blake, and Blake, you know, also, well, okay, Blake kind of considers it, which I'm, I'm not sure if he did, but it kind of looked to me like he considered maybe doing something about Anthony, uh, and having John take over. Now, I'm not gonna blame Blake quite yet, because I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I'm not sure if he was agreeing 100%, but uh, he would. He made a deal with Blake that he would be, like, the co-leader or something. So, um, I really like the way this was handled. And then, of course, we also have Anthony and uh, Samantha and their scenes in this episode, too. And, of course, we have to talk about the punch uh, scene, right? So, uh, Samantha basically punches John uh, after he's just basically... Uh, he's basically talking about taking over. And I really do like how Samantha's just like, no, no. like, And especially uh, the big announcement at the meeting, which we'll get into, that she's pregnant. Um, you know, of course, she's you know she's going to be with Anthony. You know, they're, they're going to be parents. And, I mean... That's that's real well. Hopefully, we we know what happens this season with Anthony. At least we know the general idea of what probably happens to Anthony this season. But man, I really liked uh, just the feel of this episode. John, you know, going around talking to everybody, um, and getting even like hit in the face by Samantha. So, um, I really like the scene too where he's talking to Scott, and Scott's like, "You ask me again, and I'll I'll, I'll kill you." You know. So we have that, of course, and then we have uh, Anthony. Samantha, John, uh, you know, Scott, Blake, and everybody else. We get the meeting, of course, 
and I mean, I just love this. I think this, I think this was so cool. Um, how basically you have Anthony who announces that uh, she's pregnant, and also uh, that uh, you know, you know, they're gonna have a baby, and then also that they're you know they're engaged. So it's like, oh my god, bro. Worst timing ever because we know what happens. We know that something happens to Anthony. So oh my god, bro That's that's just sad at the same time because like, it's like, you know, something happens and it's like it better not be John that kills him but Man with all this setup. It's like man now Let's talk about the ending because Scott and uh, John kind of talk it out at the moment there And then John's just like no, you know what? I don't care I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull out my gun and like pull the trigger and we see basically uh, like the episode ends right like I'll get out of the the camera So it just it just focuses in on like the gun or whatever in the hand and you see the fire and it's like and then the, the credits like I'm like are you serious that's how it ends like and I was like that's not 20 minutes and I was checking it. it's like yeah that was 20 minutes so Oh my god, bro. This was such a good episode. So write your comments in the comment section below, guys. I mean, I I I'm so impressed and I'm just like so like not sure what to say, but like I don't know. Like, oh my god, what a great premiere. Now, um I do this for my Walking Dead review, so we're going to do this for the plague too. Write down in the comment section below. What was your favorite part of this episode? Who was your favorite character from the episode and why? I know it's a Walking Dead tie-in type thing, but we're going to use it for the plague too. My favorite part of the episode would honestly be the meeting. I really like the meeting at the end, especially just the cliffhanger. Oh my God. Um, and then my favorite character actually would be Samantha. I really do like Samantha in this episode, probably the most time she's ever gotten, I think. So I really like that. Um, and then also my favorite and, and mainly just because of the fact that I really like that, you know, she kind of, you know, I, I don't know, we got more time with her this uh, this episode, and I really think that we're going to get a lot of, uh, you know, Samantha's character this season. So, from what I've been hearing from Undead 78 in the chat, uh, we're going to get a trailer on Friday. So, dudes, like, oh my god, get ready for Friday. Whenever that trailer comes out, we will do a video on that trailer for episode 2. I don't even know what episode 2 is called yet. I don't know anything about the second episode yet. Um, I literally just got done watching it, so I don't know anything going into the second episode, but man, for a premiere, awesome premiere. So, uh, write your comments, because I really want to hear what you guys think about this episode now. Um, man, this episode just absolutely blew my mind, but, uh, wow, bro, wow. So, anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm going to end the video here. Uh, episode 2 video coming out, uh, coming out, I guess, on Friday once the promo is released, but, uh, I really want to hear your comments about this episode, and Undead Freak 78, amazing job, bro. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.